Welcome to Cooking with a Ranger Rob. Grab your aprons, people. We're going to make something good today. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hey guys, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to Cooking with Ranger Rob. And today, I'm kind of winging it today, so I'm going to just use a little camera. So I apologize, it isn't one of my best uh, editing jobs. But I was in the mood to make biscuits and gravy. And so I thought I'd show you how I'm going to make them. Uh, I have a little bit of leftover, like five um, links of sausage, leg sausage. And I have three strips of bacon. And uh, so I'm going to make my gravy uh, in a wok. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm just going to use, uh, here, take you to my kitchen, to my fridge here, for my biscuits. Uh, I had one of these around here, so I thought I'd whip up some. I'm going to keep it easy, right? <laughs> so these are the grand biscuits you can get, and uh, I think that should do it. And I think we need to top it off with an egg, don't you think? So uh, it's going to get kind of crazy here. <laughs> but uh, So I didn't want to set up a whole bunch of equipment, so uh, yes, the quality of filming might be not as good as I like it to be, but at the same time, I want to show that your average Joe can cook, especially husbands, that maybe you're retired now and the wife's still working or something like that, or maybe you're laid off or, um, you know, you never know. We can cook. <laughs> we can cook. Uh, trust me, I was, I come from a Leave it the Beaver family and uh, even my daughter and son go, Dad's cooking? <laughs> yeah. So here we go, cooking with Ranger Rob. Let's get started. Before we get started, guys, I wanted to show you something that's really convenient to do. Now, uh, I know guys, especially guys, that cut up a bunch of vegetables all the time can be a real pain, but you're going to have to do it occasionally. But if you go, uh, for example, I go to Safeway, I can get pre-made... Uh, pre-made cut uh, veggies and they average around two bucks to have like these are your little purple onions and uh, you can get like your peppers and stuff like that pre-cut um, always have some mushrooms around uh, let's move down here a little bit more uh, I couldn't find pre-cut celery so I bought one and cut it up myself and now I can just grab them anytime uh, but yeah you just uh, Get in the habit of just having these little supplies, green onions already cut, and uh, it makes cooking so much easier. Um, sometimes uh, when they're making uh, tacos or something like that, take a little lettuce and cut it up and you can use it for other things. But yeah, um, for me, yes, I have a disorganized refrigerator just like everybody else. But I'm telling you, having your vegetables pre-cut makes cooking dinner a piece of cake and I'm gonna you see me using these today when we make our uh, gravy and uh, I've also started using portobello marsh mushrooms and uh, you don't have to use the whole thing and uh, have those on standby <laughs> it's just that much easier so I hope that helps you so let's get started so these are my links of sausages and my three pieces of bacon and by the way when I have um, I actually have my butcher at Safeway pack my uh, bacon in packs of three that way it's uh, I can use it for cooking whenever I want so my goal was to make everything bite-sized and easy to eat hey guys just a reminder try to eat at the table and it's not that hard and uh, anyway uh, when Sherry gets home we make it a rule sit at the table easy to set up we do usually have water with dinner and uh, sometimes we'll have, you know we are we our living room is in the same area and sometimes we'll have the news on or we'll watch Brian Gambles or something but most of the time we just talk so anyway get in the habit set up dinner use the dining room table and be sociable <laughs> let's get to cooking so one of the things i'm going to do before i get going here is i'm going to set up a little cooking tray 
gonna use some parchment paper <laughs> makes dishes much easier so I'm gonna throw some of this on and put my biscuits on there I only have five and uh, I'm just cooking for two so make sure you get some parchment paper if anything guys sometimes if you do it right you don't have to wash this thing at all Right here I'm just cutting up a little bit of parsley to uh, add to the gravy, biscuits and gravy, at the end of the process just to give it some nice color. So um, parsley just looks good, <laughs> if anything, but yeah, just cut it up a little bit, keep a little bit in the fridge. So these are large portobello mushrooms and they come in button size too anyway I like these because you can just grab a few little steaks and stuff I do take the stems off uh, anyway so I grab four or five here and I want to just add that to all my ingredients just to give it some texture by the way all you amateurs like me I am not proficient with a knife so I just do the best I can and I, that's what I expect everybody else to do yep I'm pretty sure I would not qualify to be a ninja warrior These are all my pre-cut veggies. Celery, green onions, uh, uh, red onions, my mushrooms, my parsley, my bacon in the background. We're ready. I'm also using some minced garlic to use later. But now I need some all-purpose flour to have on hand and to put into a bowl and easily available to me while I'm cooking. By the way, those little package clips you can get from the store, they work great for flour. Just fold it well, put the clip on the top, you're set to go. So to go easy on yourself, people, um, especially you guys, <laughs> add your salt and pepper together ahead of time. About a 50-50 mix. I use uh, coarse ground pepper and uh, kosher salt. And you could, whew, it's strong. <laughs> you could add uh, your garlic to this as a pre-mix. Um, or make two different kinds, one with just salt and pepper and one with salt and pepper and garlic. Uh, I'm using a minced garlic, so... Uh, not necessary in this, but powdered uh, garlic is just fine. Just use what you got. Now to figure out how to get this darn paper off of this thing. Uh, where do you start it? It's here somewhere. It's a pain. I'm telling you. So once you get your five biscuits all spread out here, uh, you want to set your oven at 350. They cook uh, 11 to 15 minutes. And also I'm adding a little pepper to the top uh, just to give uh, my dish a little kick. And then I'm going to add butter to the top. <laughs> yep. So uh, take home oh, maybe a tablespoon of butter or so. Uh, throw it in a little bowl like this. Throw it in the uh, microwave for about 10 seconds and just butter on the top you don't have to do that but i just thought maybe really do something really good for the flavor so yeah it only took 10 seconds and um just paint away and uh it looked really cool when i was all done so yeah take a look at this by the way this will just give you a nice golden brown when it's done all right, I got butter in two pans. One's my primary and my other one's for eggs later. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is uh, heat up a little butter here, and I'm going to add some uh, olive. Well, I think I'm going to go with av avocado oil. Uh, it works better with a little high temperature. And we're going to saute some onions uh, and my mushrooms, and we're going to all these. I'm going to cook my bacon and sausage here first, and then I'm going to add the rest in. And... Uh, my main gravy and everything will be all in the same pan. So here we go. Adding a little avocado oil to my butter already. And we're ready to cook the meat. Well, now it's time to turn on the oven at 350 to preheat. 
Okay, it's been a few minutes and it's time to add my red onions. Now my yummy mushrooms. Start mixing all these flavors together and start browning everything. And I'm going to start adding my green onions in there. And by the way, I forgot to put the celery in this. <laughs> but uh, you don't really need it. So when I'm about three quarters of the way done, I'm now adding my minced garlic. About a tablespoon worth. I like garlic. So it should be really good. So I'm looking forward to this. Now it's time to start adding my flour. Now you're going to add maybe a half a cup to a cup as you go and you just keep adding till it gets really gummy. Don't let this intimidate you. You just throw, throw flour on, let it get a little gummy, uh, soak up all the liquid that's in there and then keep adding a little bit more flour until you're happy with the gumminess. And then uh, after that we'll just be start, well we're going to start adding our chicken broth in there and start thickening up as a gravy it's really easy just just don't worry about winging it and here I'm just adding a little bit more just to get it the way I want and yes we're using all the bacon grease and stuff and we're turning it into this gummy little gunk all over <laughs> from the flour and it just gives it flavor Alexa, By the way, in the background, you can hear me minutes. using my Alexa as I put my biscuits in the oven. Well, now it's chicken broth time, and I just pour a whole can in. Now it's time to use salt and pepper to taste, and uh, keep tasting your gravy and get it the way you want it to be. And you may do this two or three times. Yeah, at this point you want to start watching your temperature that it doesn't get too high, because it's going to get time to add milk. I started off with a cup of milk, but I ended up adding a little more and a little more later until I got it to the consistency that I wanted. I do like my gravy a little thick, but some people may want it a little thinner. So just add milk to taste and to texture. This is where I added my chopped up parsley to uh, give it some color and because uh, I'm almost done. Oh yum, those uh, biscuits look wonderful and they're almost ready. And there's my five golden yummies right there. So it's time to grab one, cut it in half and get ready to put some of uh, my great gravy on there. And my wife's making the eggs. Told you I like my gravy thick, but once again, just add a little more milk before you serve it, and it'll thin it out. But this is the way I like it. Thick. Yummy. And here comes an over medium egg to go with it, and believe me, it tastes wonderful with this. And here's a couple still shots I took of mine, because I, uh, I had two biscuits. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I took a cut right through the center there, added a little bit of the egg, a little bit of the gravy, a little bit of biscuit. Uh, I'm going to show it here to you, and then after that we indulge. It tasted wonderful. I urge you folks, please make this. Yum. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.